you are building what you call a virtual Goldman Sachs on top of Bitcoin. Tell us about it. Well, a virtual Goldman Sachs on top of the Bitcoin and protocol and network sends the extreme conflicts of interest and the uh, excessive bonus compensation. It's sort of long. So basically, I'm building a more efficient financial system. I've created an invention. I've created this. What I've created was, or my team and I've created was a wallet that in itself allows each and every person to become their own investment bank, commercial bank, um, exchange, stock exchange, bond exchange, etc., and lender. Um, basically, through this personal wallet, you now have loans without banks, trades without exchanges, contracts without lawyers. Uh, this is phenomenal and as uh, you may know, this is a direct threat to the hedge money that stands as a middleman that fails to add value. It is disruption to the nth degree. What we're doing is uh, UltraCoin is a derivative layer to allow you to program Bitcoin. Bitcoin's value is in a protocol. Most people concentrate on the little accounts of value, otherwise Bitcoin, what they call coins, mm -hmm. and they focus on the price, 400, 600, etc. But the value is the ability to program the coins to take the place of the New York Stock Exchange, to take the place of JP Morgan, to take the place of merchant banks, which is what we've done. We've patented the process. We've created smart contracts that end users can go in their private wallet and create on their own. You design your smart contract, you create a letter of credit, you trade over 10,000 tickers for the exposure of Google. You could short JP Morgan. You can go long the Korean one. You could do all really this. really hate JP Morgan, right? <laughs> it's not about <laughs> hate, it's business. Business I, I, is business. business. Right? I don't want to put him out yeah, of the doors. It's put business, not personal. The banks are going to hate you. Full well, stop. It, it all depends on how the banks look at it. Um, because we, I think we're first to market in the technology and we've patented it. If the patents are granted, which I'm very sure they will be, then the banks have to come behind us with this new technology. If you remember the internet in 1990, um, newspapers used to take a picture of the front page and put it on the website, and they called that innovation. Fast forward 20 years later, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, mm -hmm. true, um, a true contemplation of the technology versus just using it. And Brian. creating Bitcoins is one thing, using is another. Three elements, basically. The first element is it eliminates the need to trust any other counterpart in the transaction. The lack of trust is like a tax or a cost on the transaction. Most of the time you do business, you have to reserve or insure against this lack of trust. So if you do a deal where you buy a house, you have to escrow funds, you have to get lawyers, you have to potentially go to court. Um, this invention built upon the Bitcoin protocol eliminates that. It also allows you to do uh, financial 
and value transactions without a middleman. So instead of going to an exchange where you give your assets to an exchange and exchange matches you up with someone else, you now keep your assets, your money, in your pocket, in your wallet, and you exchange directly with others through the help of a middleman that has no control over your assets. You keep the keys to your own lock. Let's jump into the business side of this business for a second. So Reggie Middleton's UltraCoin, where do you sit in the enterprise? You're taking some kind of fee somewhere? Uh, you're licensing the technology. How, do, how does UltraCoin make money in this, if they well, didn't make money at all? What UltraCoin does is it takes a very, very small amount in terms of basis points uh, of the transaction when it's done between two entities. Their transaction is peer-to-peer. -peer. In other words, you have full control of your money until you give it up. You design the contract okay, that interacts with the other party. And what UltraCoin does, it assists the two parties in getting together and takes a very, very small fee a fee that is so small that it collapsed the business models of several different industries. Um, investment banking, brokerage, insurance, uh, merchant banking, etc. fee is nominal and the fee actually goes down with volume. Now the issue with uh, the business models and where UltraCoin fits in and how it profits is or uh, what's inventive or what's innovative about it is I've decided to take the ability of Bitcoin and build a business from scratch and I think what's going wrong most people are playing with Bitcoin the little bitcoins, the lowercase b, the coins, um, and they're not ch actually doing business with the actual protocol, which is the enabling technology. So I've decided to take businesses and not take a legacy business and force it into a box and put Bitcoin on it. I've decided to take legacy businesses, disassemble them, and rebuild them on the Bitcoin protocol. And uh, that is the enabling portion of it. That is what enables me to create new businesses that didn't exist before and new abilities. the uh, re regulatory wall that Bitcoin is running into because the regulatory framework right now and the regulators in the US and the UK around the world are obviously going to be favoring the status quo and the powers that be who don't like any competition, don't like the challenge. What is your plan going forward to either A, deal with the regulators or B, is your plan just to be so fantastic that it's just going to redefine the space and to hell with the regulators. Reggie Middleton. Well, I like to do C, which is a combination of A plus B. Uh, the regulators are reacting, and I'm going to use, I'm going to be straightforward, so no disrespect to regulators. I actually want to work with you. But the regulators are acting out of a lack of knowledge. You know, I want to say ignorance, but I don't, that's a word that has a certain connotation. A lack of knowledge combined with uh, what's reported in the media. From a regulatory perspective, using a product such as UltraCoin is multiple safer than conducting business through a bank. From a regulatory perspective, regulators can still collect taxes if they wish, still um, participate in revenues, and it is much, much safer for the end user. What is reported in the media is often not, um, is often not very close to the fact. For perfect example is Mt. Gox and the collapse of Mt. Gox. What Mt. Gox did was it played with Bitcoins the little case B, it did nothing in terms of taking advantage of Bitcoin, the protocol. What Mt. Scott's did was it took Bitcoins from end users and it just transferred them back and forth or held them. Mt. Gox was the escrow agent, the, eight, the um, brokerage, and the transfer agent. And so when Mt. Gox went down, everything went down. By using the Bitcoin protocol, you allow everybody to maintain control of their coins until they decide to let them go and to avoid tr trusting the third party, which was Mt. Gox or Lehman Brothers or Man Financial 
all okay. of their stuff. So, so Mt. Gox is an early uh, casualty of this revolution, and uh, during every technological revolution, going, you know, you could look at the internet itself. There are uh, many losers, but a few mega winners like Google, like Twitter, like eBay, like Amazon. Right. And, and Reggie, also, let, let me interrupt. Mt. Gox was a victim of poor management. You know, Mt. Gox's fall had nothing to do with Bitcoin. It had to do with poor execution. Okay.